make sure that your the rim of your pot is straight across. And the best way to do that is to hold it up and look at it. And I see that this is a little taller. So I can actually take my scissors and cut it off. So you don't want to cut too much because you can't put it back on. So it's like trimming your hair. Okay, is that look better? Okay. To make a lid, you need a slab, you need a piece of paper, you need a rolling pin, a pair of scissors, and your paper clip. And what I'm going to do first, the way to make sure that your lid is going to fit your pot is you're going to get it, the rim of it really, really, really wet. And then... You're gonna get, I have scrap paper over there. You're going to get paper and you're going to push and you're going to make an outline of the rim. And when I lift it up, it shows me exactly the shape and size I need. Now when you cut it out with your scissors, you want to cut around the wet part on the outside. Better for it to be too big and trim it a little bit than for it to be too little. <laughs> and then all I need to do is put the pattern down and cut it out. Now you want to make sure that your paper clip is straight up and down because if you lean it, you'll get a beveled edge. And if you want a beveled edge, that's fine, but it shouldn't be half and half. If it's straight up the whole time, you should have it straight up the whole time. If it's going to lean this way, you should lean that way all the way around. And then, Okay, so now I have the side. It's a little thick. If I were doing this for real, I would make it thinner. I would use my slab sticks and make it thin. But I'm going to try it and see if it fits. What do you think? It's yes. good. Yep. And you can trim it if, later if you don't like it. Now what else do I need to finish this? Lid. Here under. Yeah. I need the flange. Yeah. P H L A N G E. And you need to roll it on a dry desk. Now the thing is with the lid, if I put it on the outer edge here, it's going to bump into the rim. So I need to make sure that I'm coming inside so it'll fit inside here. So I'm going to make a circle that I'm sure will fit. And I make sure that I come in a good ways from the edge. Then you would need to score it. Did you get a fork? No. Slip it. Put the score marks against each other. Try to keep it in a circle as best you can. Miter the corners. And make it so that the miter ends join together, and I try to keep it as round as I can keep it. Now, if you really want it to stay on, though, you're going to need to weld it, like right in here, up against the lid. And I use the loop of my paper clip to do that. And if it's 
if it's ugly, like if you don't like the marks it makes, when you're finished, you can use your finger and smooth it out. We're recording. You go all the way around. And you can make it nice and pretty later with your finger. And that makes a flange to keep the lid from falling off. Now, when you put this away, it goes on a separate pokey. And you're going to stuff the paper towel here. And when you put it on the pokey, you're actually going to put paper towels underneath to hold it up so it doesn't droop down. Or you can do it this way on a separate pokey, but you still need your towel in here to keep the shape. And then you never ever leave it on your pot when you put it away because it will super glue together and you'll have to cut it off. They need to dry separately. It also needs a knob or a handle. You can do a knob or a handle with a coil. A simple one that's easy to do would be to slip and score it and like put it right there. Okay? Or you can use, some people do a little rectangle of clay and like press their fingers in it so there's an imprint and it's easy to pick up. But before you do anything, you'd have to score it and slip it or else it's going to come off. Thank you.